Hi everyone, it's Chris Andreas with Royal Page Sussex and today we're going to take a close look at the West Vancouver real estate market using statistics provided from the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver for detached homes. It's a very busy time and for the first time in my career I received two accepted offers for two different properties earlier this week on the same day within an hour of each other. In West Vancouver sales are up and availability is down. There are currently 340 listings. This is down 18.5% from the 417 listings that we had at this time last year. Sales are up 38% over last January with 29 sales compared to 21 sales in 2020. The HPI or home price index is an average selling price of a home for a specific period in time. In West Vancouver, we saw the peak in September 2016, just above 3.4 million. And in January, the HPI hit 2,906,700, which is up 13.3% in the past 12 months. The HBI went up by $113,000 in January, which is the biggest one month gain since July 2016, and is the highest benchmark price that we have seen since July 2018. To better understand the balance between supply and demand, we look at the sales to active listings ratio. The balance is what determines price fluctuations. When this sale ratio dips below 12% for a sustained period, prices will typically decline. If it surpasses 20% for a sustained period, prices will typically increase. This can also be measured by months of inventory. In a balanced market, the sales ratio of 12% equals about 8.3 months of inventory. And in a seller's market, a sales ratio of 20% equals five months of inventory. With less than five months of inventory, prices will typically increase. The sales to active listing ratio changed in January compared to the previous three months, but traditionally, December and January are the two slowest months of the year. If we compare the last 12 months, things started ramping up in June with a very busy fall. September right through to December with a bit of a decline in sales for January, but with rising prices. Last month, we saw about a third of the detached sales were in the two to three million dollar price range with only three sales below two million and seven sales above five million. The most active areas in January were the British properties with six sales, followed by Ambleside with four sales. Thanks again and remember that sold home prices for the past 24 months can be accessed through my website, chrisandreas.com. And if you're thinking of buying or selling or have any other real estate questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at 604-729-8879. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your day.